Good morning, folks. Day four underway. Just left the hotel, riding east towards St. Moritz, 27 kilometers. Gonna make a fuel stop shortly. It is a magnificent day. Unbelievable. Can't wait to get up on Bernina Pass and Gavi, uh, no we're not doing Gavia, Gavi is closed. Um, Stelvio Pass, one of the bucket list passes that I wanted to hit. There's been so many so far, we haven't really missed anything even though we have had to bypass uh, a couple of passes because of closures but the ones that we picked up that were open were stunning so there was no in my opinion no loss but it gives me an opportunity to come back and do it again another time later in the year like uh, you know July or something like that when uh, you're sure that everything will be open so right now we're riding up here to get some gas top off before we head up the pass everybody's excited the weather is as good as you can expect it to be blue sky scattered clouds cool it's uh, 14 and a half degrees it says on mine uh, temperature gauge not 100% sure it's accurate because Jeff said we got down to 7 yesterday going over uh, Oberwald Pass, but um, I never showed anything less than 10. It's hard to say for sure. Doesn't matter. Haven't really been cold. Actually, have had to take some off rather than put some on. So here's the BP up here going to swing in uh, or not he's going to blow past that one and get the next one I guess just coming into I guess this I'm not sure if this is St. Moritz or this they call this St. Moritz Baden I guess he's going back to the gas station now. All right, let's gas up. I'm hoping that uh, coming through that last uh, over the top of Bernina I had my helmet cam on because I just pushed it to stop it when we made a quick stop to let the other two guys catch up and it only gave the beep sounding like I was starting it then as opposed to shutting it off so I hope I didn't screw up and not get it turned on. In any event. It's always good. There'll be plenty more. If we didn't get it. I think I did. Pretty much out of St. Moritz, I think I turned it back on. After the gas station. Look at this beautiful green valley. It's really hard to find the time to uh, 
stop and fly the drone because everybody's pressing on and if you stop you know you split the crew up you don't want to do that Andrew's always pushing 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 to doesn't want to stop much but glad he's here good friend long time uh, what is it since 2001 I think we met maybe even before that can't recall used to be my stockbroker from a long time ago. One of the only stockbrokers I ever made money with. You can check out his company at www.reliant I think Life Shares or something. Just Google it. Reliant Life Shares. Here's one of those bridges with uh, tunnels with the water flowing off the side. Look how cool that looks. We stopped back there by the lake uh, to try to do a little drone work on uh, tracking the bikes along the road that runs parallel to the lake, but uh, two things I figured out there was uh, it's better to lock on with the bike close by instead of trying to go find him after he's gone down to the starting point, but uh, you know, it is a learning experience. <laughs> that was close <laughs> and uh, then to also that I need some filters because uh, the footage just looks washed out <laughs> and 
Andrew, almost, you went down the train tracks, you come across where they, they don't cross directly, they cross like this, and you hit them and they're slippery. I think he was either missed the road or trying to avoid uh, dropping the bike on them. come into Italy that's for sale church up there. Those train tracks are a little slippery, huh? Well, you know, I came around there and I, I was focused not going in the train tracks. Yeah. And the curve, the curve. <laughs> you any white bus on you? Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought your shoulder was up again. I thought so. Beautiful town of Toronto, Italy. Oh. Just look at all these, you know, um, church towers up here. The beautiful castle over there. There's a church up there in the trees. Another one over there. On our way to Stelvio Pass. If this car would move his self Thought I was going to say something dirty, didn't you? Let's say if this car would go fast. Grandma! turn the camera off since we're just on this little bit of uh, straight road but it's just so darn beautiful I guess I'll save card and uh, battery, so uh, I'll kick it off and come back to you shortly. Well, we're heading up Stelvio Pass. A long time coming to get here. Planning, 
and everything and we are here you got to watch there's a lot of traffic the roads are narrow so you can't take the corners wide because you got guys coming the other way and they might take the corner wide riding too fast or whatever here and look at that beautiful waterfall wow. oh very cool tunnel tunnel There it is.
Here we are, boys and girls, Stelvio Pass. Woohoo! Crazy hairpin turns, one after the other. Oh, look at that waterfall. Amazing. Sixteen degrees. This is beautiful. 